called to this channel in Newcastle United career mode on Football Manager Mobile. So we're into season two now, we managed to survive last season, finishing 11th. Had a good strong finish near the end. So as you can see, um, we've done the, the friendly games, quite mixed. A couple of wins, draws and losses, which not too bad I suppose. Um, but I'll show you the transfers, so obviously the main ones there, um, as you know from the last episode, so Maximin, the big came in from late in the season, uh, going to Man United there. Uh, Jacob Murphy, he's gone to Bournemouth. Rolando Ahrens, he's gone to Wigan. Christian Atsu has gone to Sport in Lisbon. Matt Ritchie's gone to Derby. Lazar has gone to Brentford. Andy Carroll to Blackburn. And then the rest of them are freeze. A lot of them, just the under 23 team with the exception of Frederico Fernandez, Rob Elliott and Mankela. So coming in, obviously not too many at the moment, I'm still waiting for one transfer to be finalised, um, we'll, we'll see who that will be soon. So to bring in, to shore up the defence, we've got Lazio's Luis Felipe, a 23 year old, I mean Tackling 19, position and teamwork 16, good strength and stamina. Then we've got Mario Lamina, he came from Southampton. Just to add a little something to the midfield, he's got good pace and stamina, good movement, good passing. Then we've got three low knees, the first one here, Mark Cucarella. He's coming from Barcelona, who will play left back. Um, good stats, I mean good pace, decision, leadership and positioning. Then we've got Akimi. he's come from Real Madrid's B team. He'll probably more than likely play as right back. Uh, good tackling, good movement, really good pace and stamina. And this lad, Paulinho from Bayer Leverkusen, 20 year old. He's going to shore up the midfield something. I'd probably play him just behind the striker with Almiron. I mean look at that, 15, 16, 17, 18. I mean this lad could be the turning point for this season so we'll see how things go in the first game. So the first game of the season away to Sheffield United. Um, I've gone for a new tactic here so I've gone for like a 4-1, four, 4-1 one, four, one really. Um, so I mean you've got Dubrovka, Lascelles, Hayden, Shelby, Almiron and Martinez, um, the original from last season. Obviously Paulinho, Lamina, Cucurella, Felipe and Akimi coming in to make their debuts. It'd be interesting to see what Martinez can do from the start. Let's get this game underway. Sheffield United with a free kick here. Freeman plays on Osborne to Fleck. Fleck's extra shots could save by Dubravka cleared. Akimi plays a lovely ball to Martinez. Paulino picks it up, he's shot and it's his goal. Debut. Newcastle equalise, that's 1-1. Newcastle with a free kick laid on. Only to Shelby, Shelby to Martinez. He gets brought down right on the edge of the box here. Arm run to step over it. He shoots, good save by the keeper. And again with a rebound. Sheffield United go 2-1 up late in this game. It's started from a Newcastle throw in deep in their half. Robinson clear through the defence. Round to Pravka in no man's land. 2-1. Can Newcastle get a late late equaliser here? Trying to put something in the box. Nothing is cleared and that is a full time whistle. Not a good start for Newcastle as they go down 2-1 losers. So this is the transfer waiting for. Davy Klassen comes in from Werder Bremen. Tyler's midfielder. And everyone's seen it's a bit of a coup for Newcastle. So let's hope he can add something for the fans. First home game of the season here against Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, deciding to play a sort of Christmas tree formation. Klassen comes in, so it's a straight three in midfield there. Let's see how we'll get on. Tottenham with the corner, taken by X, Newcastle Man Sissoko. Floated into the box. And who's there but Harry Kane running in, headers it into the near post 1 0. Tottenham go 2 0 up here. That same combo again. Dyer found Sissoko up wide. 
put in the box, Keane in front of his man, seeing post again, 2-0. Newcastle get one back before half time. Ball's in, it's there. Lamina gets his first for the club. Assisted by Martinez, 2-1 just before half time. Newcastle got a free kick near halfway, Elmer on the take it, floats it in. It's also crack and save from Martinez. Castle trying to get this late late equaliser. And Riga finds Klassen. Oh, played it back and the referee blows the whistle. Another defeat. 2-1 again. Castle home again. This time to one of the newly promoted teams, Nottingham Forest. Seem to be set up in a very defensive formation there. Five at the back, four across the midfield with just the one up front. Let's see if Newcastle can get their first win on the board. Yeah, you attack here by Newcastle, just playing it around. Paulina plays Martinez, and he's just put it wide. Forrest on the attack here now. Good passing, good ball in to Costa, good save to Pravka. Newcastle trying to build something here. Martinez gets a free kick. Paulina just step over, he's taking a shot, oh he's just put it wide. Took a deflection, in fact. Class in the play then. Gets a rebound. Shelby, maybe another corner. Class in again. Good ball in. Resulting in a third corner in a row. Martinez to come over and take it this time. Can you do anything different? Uh, poor kicker. Class will come forward. Klassen plays with Martinez and that's it. Newcastle take the lead. 1-0. It's the full-time whistle blows. Not a convincing win, but three points nevertheless. On to the next game. It's the second round of the Carabao Cup here against Bradford. I would generally have a cup team, but going out early in both cups last season, I'm going to try and play the strongest. A couple of changes though. Dummett's come in. And we've got Mariga who's going to play up front with Jinsek. Let's see what they can do and get through to the third round. Corner for Newcastle here. Class in the take here. Good ball in Mariga and he's there. He's come into the team. And he's made no mistakes with that header as he puts his team 1 0 up. Class with the throw. Dummett plays in Lamena, going to free kick, Jinsek over it, takes a shot, oh he's found it, just creeps in, the keeper is near post and makes it 2-0. He's lined it up, killed it around the wall and the goalkeeper just stood thinking it was going wide. Castle pushing for the third year with the corner. Classing. Mariga turns and shoots, and that's his second of the game. Newcastle must be out of sight now. So this will probably gonna go since the keeper kicks. And that's it. Newcastle progress the next round. Comfortable 3-0 victors. Set your way now. Game probably doesn't get any tougher than this. Let's see how Newcastle can get on. Castle on the attack here, Martinez, he's putting the castle up, surprise and lead there. A little free kick to Brav, got to launch it upfield, but Man City get it, Jesus. Slots it home, 1-1. One, one. Walker, down the right to Sterling, put the ball in, it's a penalty, Jesus is being fouled by Shelby. He's going to step up to take it. Silva puts it in the back of the net. Bernardo Silva makes it 2 1 Man City. So he's the attack again, Sterling using his pace. That's poor defending, and Jesus capitalises on the loose ball, knocks it past to Bravka 3 1. City with the corner. Bleeding by Sterling. Oh, good save, in fact. De Bravka made the save. Jesus is there for the rebound. 4-1. I 
just a city building deep from their own half. Walker, that's it. Poor defeat there. Poor display by Newcastle as Man City were out for one winners. Next game, home to Brighton. Newcastle full strength squad. Brighton have lost about six players either through suspension or injury, so it could be a struggle for them as we get the game underway. Brighton take the lead here to Provka with a half hearted clearance. Rolling, blazing, Andoni and just curls at home. Brighton lead 1 0. So I'm trying to get an equalizer here. Martinez. Oh, but is it offside? Oh, VAR says he was marginally. Still 1 0 Brighton. Castle come forward for an equaliser. In the mean, that's Martinez to Almiron, he smashes at home, and that one counts 1 1. Castle trying, but no. That's full time. Ends 1 1. Some disappointing transfer news there. A few teams came in for Almiron. Now, because the match is 40 million release clause, it had to be accepted. Man City win the race to his signature, who will go in the January window. We're going to need a good quality replacement. Villa are away now. Let's get the game underway. So I'm trying to put an attack here. Now wait on Moran. Martinez plays in Paulinho. Oh, he's chipped it over and it's there. Finds the far post. And that's 1 0. Probably the final kick of the game here. Seconds remaining. Newcastle get it out, not quite though, don't want to crumble, that's cleared now and that's it, a good 1-0 away victory and three points on the board. Paulinho and Klassen needing a bit of a rest, let's get this game underway. Burnley on the attack here, Harrison Dogastin, he's put that one away, Burnley take the lead 1-0. Newcastle get a free kick, trying something. Late, late on, Mariga, oh, shot well wide. Looks like another early exit for Newcastle, unless can do something here. Almiron plays in Martinez and he scores and he's equalised. Or is it offside? It is. VAR disallows Martinez goal. And that's probably game up now. And that's it. Newcastle fans can't believe it. Thought that the equaliser late, late on. Only for VAR to rule it out. Here it is again. Long staff to Almiron. Oh, very tight. Very tight. But Burnley go through 1 0 winners. So after the Cup defeat to Burnley, Newcastle travel to Burnley in the league game. Tactics change again as we're going for a 4 2 2 2. Two up front as we're lacking goals. Hola comes in partner Martinez came on Newcastle through Haller oh it's a goal poor kick out by Pope intercepted by the Newcastle midfield Hayden I think it was just heads it forward Haller uses his pace past his man smashes the ball past the keeper 1-0 Burnley come on the attack here. Bond fires it straight at Pravka. Oh, Martinez trying to finish it off. Good hit by Pope over the ball. Corner. Probably going to be the last kick as well. Mariga tries. Good hit by Pope. And that's it. Another three points for Newcastle. Unchanged team here as Newcastle take on Southampton. Newcastle 11th take on 10th Southampton. Let's get the game underway. Castle trying to get an early goal here. Getting there about nicely. Shelby shot and it's in. His first of the season. 25 yarder. 1 0 up. Newcastle again on the attack. Haller. Hayden. To Shelby. Haller's there. Oh, he's just put it wide. Still 1 0. Southampton equalise. Carello with it. Plays it to Dos Santos. Ball's played back into Carlo, just puts it in far corner. 
And that's one one. Newcastle tracks with the lid on yet. Mariga plays in the box. Martinez has just put it wide. As four added minutes comes up on the board. Newcastle get a corner laid on again. Martinez to take it. But it's cleared. Martinez picks it back up, finds Mariga. Puts a free kick. And that'll be game over. Maybe one last. Oh, referee blows his whistle. Final score 1 1. Castle away now to Crystal Palace. Let's go on to kick off. Crystal Palace take the lead. Two ex Newcastle men as Townsend running down this left flank. Plays the ball in and Adam Armstrong takes it down, turns and shoots, and that's 1 0. Castle push off an equaliser. Chevy plays all out turns and Martinez has put it over from the penalty spot. Still 1 0 Palace. Castle coming forward now. Ola finds Martinez and that's it, back of the net. Third of the season. And that's 1 1. Game on. Palace retake the lead 2 1. Armstrong turns, plays it into the box. Newcastle pushing for a late one. It's clear though, Dubrovka well out and oh my god. What was the keeper doing? Well out of his box, miscontrols it. And the young Geordie lad, Adam Armstrong, takes it away from him. 30 yards out, empty net, 3-1. Three point Palace. Watch that with an early free kick on the edge of the box. Queen out plays it to Jan Marty, smashes it home. Another ex Newcastle player scoring against them. 1 0. Newcastle now with a free kick. Martinez plays it in a Ginsek to Shelby. Paulinho to Ginsek, and that's it. Came back into the team, equalises 1 1. Newcastle with a free kick right on the edge. Almiron steps over. He stuck the shot and he scored it. 2-1, the second of the season. Watford, you have given away a penalty, fell on Jinsek. As Shelby will step up to take it. Can they make it three? They can. And that's pretty much three points with 20 minutes to go. And Castle just running down the clock, passing it around nicely. Mariga bangs it from outside the box, makes it four. Wraps up the game. And there's the full time whistle. Newcastle back to winning ways. An emphatic victory 4 1. Final game of the episode. Last game, seen Newcastle run 4 1 winners at home. This time, the host Chelsea. It'll be a totally different ball game as Chelsea currently third. It'll be a tough game. Another attack through Mariga. Martinez back to Mariga, ball in, Martinez is there, oh it's deflected just wide for a corner, Shelby comes across, gonna get it back, second chance, another corner, Castle piling the pressure, Newcastle on the attack, Paulino to Martinez, oh he's put it wide, Need to start taking these chances. Just outside the box on the right hand side. Get Paulinho to put it in. Martinez with the header. Near post 1 0. And Chelsea are shocked. Chelsea have got their equaliser. Back to right, Pedro. Pedro to back to Yoko. It's ball breaks to Batsuai in the box. Turns and smashes at home 1 1. Seconds remaining to Proca with a long kick upfield. Jinsek gives away a free kick. And that'll be more or less time now. That's it. Chelsea don't get time to take the free kick. And ends 1 1. So that was the last game for this episode. As you can see, we're lying 10th at the moment. Not too bad. Well clear of the relegation though. I mean, 9 points. Leeds, Burnley and Forest not doing too well at the moment. So if you're enjoying this Newcastle career, please like, share and subscribe. 
and come back for the next next episode until then bye for now Thank you.